open a sharp copy, sip in there, my Star Wars cup, boom, happy days, good cup of coffee, that's all you need. <laughs> Hello, so today I thought I might talk about something that I keep getting commented on, um, or people keep saying to me, now and again, and that is how I look like the actor Connor Swindles. Now, I've kind of always had people say, oh, you look like so-and-so. Had Andy Murray a lot when I was a, quite a bit younger. Um, I had Matt Smith. I was quite happy with that one, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think there have been a few of us. Um, yeah, I can't remember, there have been a few of us. Um, but Connor Swindles is one that keeps coming up repeatedly. I keep having people all the time coming up to me saying this. Um, I have watched one and a half episodes, I think, of Sex Education. But basically, so everyone was commenting about this actor and how I look like him. He was in this show called Sex Education on Netflix. Um, I think I got in from a late night working. I've been doing a get out at the theatre where we had to work through the night, taking down sets um, and putting them on trucks. I, I got in about 6 a.m. And the thing is with that is, it was in the middle of winter, so I was really cold and you can't really shut off. So I made myself a coffee, got my laptop and got tucked up in bed, as you do. Um, <laughs> after after doing a get out with like loads of barely men and you've been strong and showing off and you've got your shirt shot, uh, shirts out, um, during winter, uh, and then you come home and put your dressing gown on and make yourself a cup of coffee in bed. Um, very manly. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I did watch this, I watched one episode and I think I got halfway through a second one and then I fell asleep eventually. Not because the show was bad or anything like that, it's just I was tired. Um, but no, um, I didn't watch the show again because I can't really commit to TV shows. Um, I'm very busy. Um, I wish I could, because I love TV series and especially a Netflix one. Uh, but yeah, it's really hard for me to watch a TV show and binge watch, even now during lockdown. Um, so yeah, and I kind of couldn't see the resemblance. I'm not gonna lie, people. I can't see the resemblance to me and um, Connor Swindle, so. Um, I mean, he's, he's such an awesome guy. Um, I, I did a little bit of research on him, um, looked him up, and he is awesome, he's a, and he's a good actor as well. Um, so yeah, uh, fair, play, fair, play, uh, fair play to him, mate. Um, he's awesome, so yeah. Um, but yeah, people keep commenting, you know. I had one the other week, I was doing an acting course online, and obviously we had to put up things that we've been working on, and people were commenting. And one of them said, oh, you look like the guy from Sex Education. You look like Connor Swindles. Um, but this is the best bit. He didn't, didn't just stop there. She was like, yeah, you could play his older brother. Not younger brother. Not twin brother. His older brother. Cheers. No, I'm kidding. It was it was a really funny comment, and then obviously it started the domino effect, and other people started to say, "Oh yeah, he does look like him." Um, yeah, I, I feel sorry for Connor if he looks like me. If anyone says that, I don't. I doubt they would, but yeah, um, he's he's a very good looking guy. So I'm not taking it offensively because um, he's a pretty dishing dude um, and a really good actor. So yeah, but obviously. Um, a creative getting, um, you know, what's the word? Compared to or looking similar like another creative, it's a bit strange. Um, yeah, and then there was another time, one of my favourite stories, is I was working in the cafe at work at the Sheffield Theatres and the composer, a lovely, lovely man, Richard Taylor, comes in. And I'm there, I'm serving him. And me and Richard have worked together before on a show called The Sheffield Mysteries. Um, he's composed the music and lyrics for Farley's Mrs. Harris, which I believe you can get online, actually. The Chichester version 
Uh, it's a great play, well, musical, sorry. Um, I saw it when it was on The Crucible, directed by Daniel Evans, so go check that out. It's, it's actually, it's really good. I took my grandma to see it, she loved it. Um, so yeah, he comes into the cafe and he goes, oh James, I was thinking about you the other day actually. Well, this is it. A composer was thinking of me. Well, my mind starts to go, I'm like, this is it. I paid my dues. I can put down the mop. I start untying my apron. This is the moment starts to play in my head. This is the moment. This is the day when all my dreaming, all of my scheming come my way. Yeah, I was watching a show called Sex Education on Netflix and the actor in it just reminded me of you. He looks a spitting image of you. That's 4.30, please. No, I'm kidding. No. No, I, I kind of laughed it off. I said, yeah, Richard, I, I get that a lot, you know. No. Um, so, yeah, there's all these kind of funny things of people coming up to me and saying it. Um, so I kind of just wanted to put it out there. So if you guys think I look like um, Connor Swindles, comment below or leave me a comment. Um, it's up to you guys. Um, or if you don't, if you don't think I look like anything like him, um, as well, comment. So yeah, this was my um, who do I look like story and get compared to. I don't get compared to it, I guess. You know, it's more look, I believe. So yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, but it's really nice because he is an amazing guy uh, from what I've read about him and um, seen on his Instagram. Uh, just give him a follow if you're not following him because he's um, pretty cool. Um, he's a great actor as well. So I'm not complaining that I get compared to this guy, um, Connor Swingles. It's awesome. <laughs> but I just thought it was time just to tell some funny stories about the... Um, a few of the times that I've been compared to him um, in a vlog. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody's well. Hope that's a little funny story. Um, and also, if anybody has compared you, you know, people that are watching this, if um, you've ever been compared to somebody or people say you like somebody, comment below, let me know. See, make sure I'm not the only one that gets it. Um, yeah. Uh, and as well, if I do look like him, Connor, if you ever want a day off, mate, from the show, let me know. I will come in. I will act for you. I mean, everybody thinks we're going to be twins and brothers. I'm still going for younger. You know, I'm not going to lie. Um, we're not that much different in age. Um, I think that my moisturising skills um, puts me in a nice perspective to be a twin, at least. Older brother. Bit mean. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah. So comment below if you um, if you have a look alike or if you like someone famous or cool uh, let me know and yeah um watch sex education as well if you want a cool show to watch i can recommend it it's a bit like skins for the next generation i reckon if um, you've not seen it um but yeah happy days i'm gonna finish my coffee now and uh, that's my compared to connor swindle's story for today's vlog um so yeah well, goodbye, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Drink coffee. Makes you smile. Because, yeah, the sun's not really out today. But if the sun is out, out in the sun, drinking coffee.